नमे जाति भेद नमे मृत्यु शंका नमे जाति भेद वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जाति भेद जाति कम्स अगेन फ्रॉम संस्कृत ऑफ कोर्स जाति कम्स फ्रॉम जाता Jata means birth. Something that is produced is is jata. So from jata we have jati. Jati refers to a group or a group identity based on birth, which comes from the fact of one's birth. So a jati, therefore. is a group to which one belongs on the basis of birth it's a it's an identity that comes as a consequence of birth it's a hereditary identity we we speak of it as as jati and so uh, sometimes uh, jati is used uh, synonymously with with varna and you are familiar with the four varnas the brahmanas or brahmins kshatriyas you know warriors and leaders vaishyas people of uh, commerce and agriculture and then shudras or laborers so sometimes jati is used synonymously with with uh, uh, varnas the chatur varnas sometimes it is used also to identify a subgroup within the within the varna so there may be many brahmana jatis or kshatriya jatis vaishya jati shudra jatis and and so on. but the most important thing i want you to understand is that jati is a identity one one affirms or asserts you know on the basis of of um, of birth so uh, the teacher says na me mrityu shanka na me jati bheda Vachidananda Atma, which has no birth, as we just saw, na janma. There cannot be. There is no varna. There is no jati. Na me jati bheera. There is no Brahmana Atma. <laughs> there is no Shatriya Atma. there is no vaishya atma there is no shudra atma there is no untouchable atma there is only atma there is only chidananda atma there is no white atma there is no black atma there is no brown atma there is no indian atma there is no american atma there is no european atma there is no hindu atma there is no muslim atma there is no christian atma there is no jewish atma there is no male atma there is no female atma there is no gay atma there is only chidananda rupa atma. atma chidananda atma cannot be classified cannot be divided this is the highest truth this is the highest truth there is no african atma there is no chinese atma there is atma chidananda atma which is one an identical in every in every being so ascribing such divisions <laughs> bheda means divisions divisions dividing people on the basis of such classifications based on birth race also is a classification based on birth huh? race is a jati classification 
you classify people on basis of birth, on the basis of the color of their skin. So that's also a jati classification, a jati behavior. So ascribing such bhedas, divisions, to Chidananda Atma is, I have to say, the deepest form of avidya. It's one of the deepest forms of ignorance or avidya. We have to root out from our hearts and from our minds. If this tradition teaches anything at all, it is that Chidananda Atma is the one and the same in all beings. And we should not classify human beings, bheda, we should not construct bhedas, classifications, into categories of greater and lesser wood. We should not create hierarchies. Bheda is a hierarchy, a hierarchy of human beings based on the belief that some have greater value than, than others. Some are purer than others. This is, this is avidya. And we should not have jati bheda or race bheda, bheda or any kind of um, bheda in our lives. So this is, this is a really important statement that uh, is, is in this poem. Shankara here, you know, he's speaking about the bheda of his time that he was most familiar with, which is jati bheda. But we, in our times, we can't stop with jati bheda. We have to look at what are the kinds of divisions in our own times. You know, the race bheda, bheda, the gender bheda, bheda's on the basis of nationalities and so on and so forth. We have to say no. No to bhedas of all kinds. No to bhedas of all kinds is what is what uh, is what is at the heart of this of this uh, tradition. This this uh, teaching. Name mrityu shanka, name jati bheda. I can't emphasize this this um, this truth enough, uh, which is the unity of of humanity. The positive side of Najati Bheda is the unity of all humanity, which is the vision to which it is. This poem uh, calls us.